All right, so I'm hoping this little volcano here is gonna do some erupting while uh, I'm talking to you guys about this. So I learned some lessons today. <laughs> I learned my limitations and man, this was really rough. I had a really hard time with this hike. Um, I've done hikes in Tennessee and Hawaii and all that, but this one, the majority of the hike is really steep the whole time. Um, the little leg after lunch wasn't too bad and then we had a break where it was a nice clearing next to a trash can and after that it was it was pretty flat thankfully <laughs> um, like I said earlier I was really struggling with that first leg with my backpack and for 200 quetzales the fantastic amazing lovely guides took my bag up and uh, they're gonna take it back down tomorrow that really helped a lot. Otherwise, I would have just left and wouldn't have been able to do this experience. So I'm very thankful to them for that. Um, absolutely grateful. And I'm, so a couple things that you need to know about this trip is you need to be prepared. Um, bring extra socks, bring hats and gloves. They do offer renting of hats, not too bad. Um, they have the walking stick for five quetzales and do that. <laughs> It's not even an argument. Do that. You need you need to get the walking stick. It's really steep, and that that helped me from falling a couple times. Um, make sure you also bring one of those like inflatable pillows, because you get a sleeping bag and you get like a flat yoga mat. Um, and if you're like me, your backpack isn't really that comfortable. And I did not bring an inflatable pillow, so I learned my lesson. Another thing that I learned my lesson on: bring layers. Um, I did bring some, so I should be fine, but. If you get cold really easily, make sure that you bring layers so that way you can get nice and warm. Because right now it's getting pretty cold and we haven't even reached um, sunset yet. Sorry, I'm switching hands. I don't have my little stick with me. Um, and so that makes it a little more difficult too. So a couple other things. Um, they say to bring four liters of water and that really adds some weight to your bag. So if you do two liters, you should still be fine. Um, so do two liters of water and bring a small bottle, bottle that you can empty it into, uh, make life a little easier for you. Uh, but you still should be fine with just the two liters instead of four. I haven't even hit two liters today and I've drank a lot of water today. Um, wet, speaking of drinking a bunch of water, bring wet wipes because over here at base camp, there is no bathroom. So you pee and poop in nature. Um, so if you bring wet wipes, that will make it a little bit easier for you as well. Um, let's see what else. You're not going to really get a cell signal. I'm surprised that up here where I'm sitting, I'm actually getting a cell signal, but um, bring your extra batteries. I brought a bunch of batteries, so I'm able to do what I need to do easily. Um, also, make sure that you don't bring too much gear. If, uh, like, I brought my, my Sony camera, I have my phone that I'm using right now, and then I also brought my GoPro. I haven't used my GoPro because I've been struggling so much with this hike that there's no way. Um, I mean, if I had a chest strap or something, I probably would do it, but the majority of my footage is just going to mean me, like, struggling this whole time. Um talk to the guides they're really great they listen to you they make they really care and they have a philosophy of a no soldier left behind kind of thing and so they want to make sure that you're making it through this hike as well so the guides are really great they'll also let you know when it's time to go to break they'll say 10 minutes a lot uh, <laughs> and then they'll also say oh it's gonna be flat soon so just know that they they got your back and, and they're constantly telling you that you can do it Man, this was hard. So, just be prepared. And tomorrow we do the rest of the hike up to the top. They said it's like 45 minutes to get up there. And it's really, really steep. And then we make our way all the way back home where I'm going to have a celebratory candy bar and soda. Uh, and just relax. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, so, I think that's it for today. That's a wrap. And I'm going to get some sleep after a little bit and hoping this will do a little bit more that I can play around with it. But um, make sure heed my warnings because not everybody tells you all these things. Oh, also, 
bring snacks bring protein snacks eat breakfast before you get here but bring snacks um, protein bars nuts um, whatever you need to keep you going because the food that you get while it's great that it's the food is provided it's not very much and so in order to keep your calories going and stuff you want to make sure that you're bringing some snacks too so bring snacks and eat breakfast before you come otherwise you will really really regret it uh, I was having a hard time with altitude sickness, so if you're like me, and as you were going up higher, get a little sick, just try to bring something to help out with that. Water is great and all, but um, if you can find something medicinally to help you with altitude sickness, that'll save you a lot of heartache. Um, bring some aspirin. A, lot, a couple people had some headaches when they came up, so aspirin would definitely help as well. Um, but yeah, Okay, so now that's a wrap. And this motherfucker didn't even, didn't even erupt, but that's okay. Um, so it's a wrap for day one in Akatanago, and I will talk to you guys later after I get some sleep. Bye!